I haven't machined that stuff much in years. I usually uh, machine uh, pretty hard 4140 or 4140 uh, steel, but this is uh, 12L leaded steel. It, cut, it just cuts like butter. It's real, <laughs> real easy to cut, really nice in a lot of ways. But it uh, doesn't have the properties of um, some of the alloys. Um, they used to call this stress proof, stress proof 12L. Well, hey, I got this on here, and this is actually the first test cut on, on this. I don't have it uh, connected totally, so I, I use a boring bar to lock, lock it, and I can put this little piece of metal here and unlock this thing. And out comes the piece of metal, see? Now, this is a 5C chuck to adjust it. Here's the tool here. If I can get it in there. See, you can tighten it that way or, or just go ahead and pull it out. So, this is going to be kind of an interesting uh, addition to this. And uh, I was going to hook it up like this. Rob had it like that, but I think that's going to get to my shoulder. So I'm going to uh, hook it this way, then uh, likely shorten the lever and uh, put a black ball knob on it <laughs> and paint it gray and say, yes, that's a original axle accessory. I hope you're all doing well. Let's have a look around. Okay, so we shut off this American rotary here. The thing works good. And I cut off the power to it because you'll still get two hot legs uh, to the equipment. And if you hit a button, it will buzz. Okay, 5C. So now I got 5C collets <laughs> on every machine. And I've used them for years, and uh, there's something that everybody uh, really struggles with. And uh, but they're there, they exist, and they're real common. And uh, these uh, grinding fixtures here that I got from Intricate and Rob are five C. Now this is the uh, Herrick air spindle. And uh, I got a 5C to inch and a quarter um, end mill adapter here. So it's a solid 5C to uh, inch and a quarter. Then this is the all tool here. It's 5C. And then I've got the... Uh, Standard Cincinnati workhead here converted to 5C. And I've got uh, a three jaw chuck on a 5C shank stuck in there. Now, okay, putting that uh, on there will free up the uh, bargain, but actually workable bow star which I put back on to the brown and sharp dividing head. I had this on there for a while and I found I used it more. And uh, so I got it back on there and I stick the three chuck back on there uh, pretty easy. But uh, I just kind of wanted to check in and uh, say hello and talk about this 5C uh, stuff real quick because uh, over a lot of time dealing with 5C I've learned some 5C tricks and uh, we're going to get into that like making collets uh, uh, your work run a little bit truer if it's not running true and I think that's going to be great. Okay, I got a I got another video from uh, Rob's shop intricate uh, machine in Walla Walla here, and a, a lot of that stuff's gone now. It's uh, just going real quick. Uh, the fixtures and things are just really going down. <laughs> Again, there's still some very nice things there, um, and um, 
you, you can see in the video, and I think a few things in the video might be gone by now, but uh, he's got some books out, and so I'll do that. Then after this stuff, uh, I'll do less videos, most likely, because he's just going to be selling... Um, the support equipment and the, and the, the plastic uh, mold machines uh, itself. And, uh, and I'll do videos of those and put them on this channel. You might find them interesting. And uh, I'm learning a lot about the plastic mold machines, let me tell you. And uh, so he can sell those. And then I'll get back to uh, doing things in the shop here. And I'm trying to get back to everybody, everybody out there, you know, <laughs> Ron and Carl, I'm trying to get back to, but uh, I'm really uh, kind of very busy helping Rob. And then I come home and my wife finds all kinds of things for me to do. I'm going to be very busy <laughs> tomorrow morning helping Rob. And then uh, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to be very busy helping my wife, and then I'm going to try to get back to everybody for <laughs> this weekend. And, uh, you know, it's difficult for Rob uh, selling this stuff, so be kind of patient and give him a call if you see something. And uh, um, he... Uh, it, it, you know, well, you, neither one of us are professional uh, uh, machine tool accessory or whatever dealers. We're just a couple old guys doing the best we can from Walla Walla, and it seems like we're doing pretty darn good. Okay, well, I'm going to keep this video short, and then I'm going to load the one I shot today at, uh, at Intricate. And... Uh, uh, get back in here and get this thing hooked up and uh, I think it'll uh, be pretty cool with uh, that thing. <laughs> oh, I wanted to mention some guy said he said that <laughs> leave this in here. It's dangerous. Ah! Well, I'll tell you something. If you own an Axelson or, or a heavy pattern lathe with a side wheel tail stock, it is not exactly easy <laughs> to change those centers up from a center to a, to a drill. And uh, the parts are heavy enough to break your toes if you drop it on your foot. So this is kind of convenient for, uh, for smaller parts. And uh, I think this is going to be a lot of fun, even though it's got the uh, wacky uh, thing here. But it's, it's just part of the museum, you know. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll get back. Bye-bye.